dear everyone this is hemu now in this lecture we will see how we can basically do the basic configuration in your v manage so you have to go here v manage is already started go inside this v manager and you will see we get the system ready prompt here hit enter you will get the login prompt now put here username admin password is also admin and after that what it is now asking to change the initial configuration or change the default username and password right they're asking to change the default password so i have entered here admin admin because i don't want to change i will keep the same and guys when you will log in into your v manager first time you will get this prompt here it is asking the available storage devices right now here we have to select one storage what we have to select one storage now why we have to select that storage so guys in your v manager what happens it is having some kind of database right it has some kind of database so guys we have to define one storage where it can basically install this particular database and it is also having one more service which is network management server it is running this particular application basically in a back end so all the files of that particular application all the configuration file whatever config we will do it will store into that particular storage so that's why we have to select one is storage here right so what i will do here we have to select some story who is having some huge num huge gb of data right so we have here 100 gb i will select one then type y which is yes now what it will do it will go through with the it will format the things and it will try install your database okay so we have to wait here for some time so right now it is going through all that installation process and all you can check these logs here these are the logs right and here we have to wait until we will get one prompt which is system ready prompt basically and after that we will log in and we will start doing the configuration right in your v manager we have to do this configuration guys it's pretty easy in your config mode we have to go inside the system and host name we have to define one host name system ip address site id organization name clock time zone b bond ip address and we have to exit out and after that we have to configure your bpn zero parameters then we have to define one default route we have to define one dns and we have to define one some bpn 512 parameters so now you will see if you, if I try to log in this time admin and admin, see it will give it will not allowing because right now system is initializing. So I have to wait until I will get the system ready message here basically. So we have to wait. So now you will see after waiting till two minutes, I've got the system ready prompt. Now I will enter here, type admin, admin. So now we will get the access of your V manager. Now what I have to, I will type here conf t. Okay, now here I will go in, inside my system configuration. Become a bit, a bit slow. So host name, host hyphen name, we manage, 
bbond ip address 10.1101.10 i have to define the bbond ip address system ip 9999999.10 this is the system ip address organization name cnets site id is 10 then clock time zone Asia, Kolkata, so we have defined the host name, we have defined system IT, side ID, right, B-bond details, now after that we have to go through with the BPN0 configuration, so what I will do, I will copy this BPN configuration, I'll just paste because it's very easy. exit out by running this command i have entered inside my interface with it's zero right and i have configured the ip address tunnel interface i have allowed shs net compass tps and i have added one default route and i have also defined the dns details right exit out now you also need to basically do some configuration on your bpn 512 do the config on VPN 5.12 and run this command, command commit and quit. So it will shape the configuration in your vManager, right? Now you can go and you can run this command, try to ping to 8.8.8. .8. Ping is working, which means we are good to go. And run this console interface description. You can check the description. I will got this IP address. And guys, here I'm having connectivity. I'm having connectivity with this B manager through this management basically. And because I'm having that particular that adapter on my laptop only. Now I will go here and I'll just type HTTPS. This is the this is how we have to open your vManager graphical user interface. Right now you will see upstream connect error or disconnect. You are getting this error. 8443. So still there is some problem with that actually. So I'll just type a request. NMS all status check all the application service are running properly fine or not. So these things also we can generally check right all are enabled and they are running fine, but there is some problem with this service right, right now a status is baiting because there's a problem with this service that is the reason i am not able to access it from this so what i will do i'll go here i will just stop this device i stop it and i will just start it Sometimes it happens because sometimes these are the, because this is the main device, it will really take lots of RAM and CPU of your firewall. So that's why sometimes it will take some time, guys. Okay. Okay. So after waiting some time, you will see right now, now application service status is running, right? Previously it was in baiting state. Now it is in running state. So what I will, I have just put the IP address of my vManager here. Now I will just log in admin. 
बिकॉज इन योर बी मैनेजर आफ्टर दैट यू ऑल्सो नीड्स टू डू सम स्मॉल कॉन्फिग्रेशन एक्चुअली ओके वॉट इज दैट स्मॉल कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड दिस इज द दिस कॉन्फिग्रेशन वेन यू विल डू गाइज only it is allowed to do it one time only basically and after that you are not able to allow so you have to put the organization name here we have to put the organization name this is the one thing and i also need to put the bbond ip address and guys after that these settings you will not able to modify it you can not able to modify this organization name you were only able to modify this bbond ip address you go here into monitor into main dashboard you can see the details right we have a v manager now if you again go into the settings if you click on edit yeah they are allowing basically but in next version like 20.4.1 you will not able to change that organization name okay in this version they are it is they are allowing okay now this is how we have to configure your v manager in your cli we have to do some basic configuration right which is this one and in your graphical user interface we have to conf define your organization name and b1 ip that's it this is the configuration which we have to do into your v manager 